Hi, Isabel Litzler, Play at HC, the place to be to develop your skills and grow your potential. So on today's Monday Motivation, I want to talk about internships and volunteering as a way to enter the market. So the first tip is really for young people, young graduates, young professionals. I think you're the perfect type of target for internships and volunteering because you do need the experience. Usually you don't have a lot of network, you don't have a lot of uh, resources in general, so you need to start somewhere. So I think internships and volunteering could be a good way for you to enter. However, you have to weigh out what's in it for you. So again, don't pick anything. Make sure that the volunteering experience or internship is going to get you some skills that you can use towards uh, finding a job. So make sure that it, it fits in your career. It's something that's going to bring you information and, and mentoring maybe from somebody. So again, it's, it's something to wait out. I would not advise to intern or do volunteering for long periods of time, because again, the idea is that it's just a bridge between uh, being in school and employment. So you don't want to repeat too many internships and then you, you become this life uh, intern and it's not really the goal. So just make sure you limit that. However, that said, in international organizations, sometimes you have to stick it out for a little while. They might offer you internships, rolling internships, or even uh, short-term contracts, but you have to wait until you get an opportunity. They need to wait for funding on their end, so sometimes they can't extend a job offer immediately. But for those who stick it out, usually there's the reward at the end of the tunnel. So that's what I keep telling people. Be patient in international organization. It takes a while. So again, for young people, I will post also some um, PDF information down below so that you can look at some information about how to volunteer and intern in Switzerland. So the second tip I want to give you is for mid-career people. You know, you've been in a job for a while, you want to change, you're looking for something different. So you want to basically change your careers, but you know that you're not going to be called for this new position that you're looking for. So this is also where interning and volunteering can help you rebrand yourself, but it needs to be done in a particular format. So you're not going to be called for something new just by changing the words on your resume. It needs to be a strategy. So when I work with individuals on rebranding themselves after a career change, there's this whole work that needs to be done. So it's really what is your career project? Do you need training or not? Uh, rebranding the resume and the LinkedIn profile looking at what is the best strategy for you to be called for these kinds of position. So really, I would really advise you need to have a plan. I think that's that this word comes back in my videos and the work that I do, but planning is essential because you need to be credible. So if you start just calling people, sending your resume left and right, it's not going to be clear what you're looking for. So you need to really think about that. How do you go about it and what's the best way? The third tip I want to give you is to also be careful with interning and volunteering, especially if you're above a certain level of experience. So usually I have people who are above 45 years old who say, well, I'm not finding a job. Do you think I should volunteer, etc.?" You just have to remember that, as I was saying earlier, this is usually a bridge between school and employment. So if you start volunteering at 50 years old, first of all, people might be surprised you even apply. And second of all, how is that going to help you? Because I think that when you're in your for late 40s or 50s, there's two, solu there's two uh, situations, basically. Either you've, had, you've made a good living and you're just looking for some fulfillment and you just maybe want to volunteer because you have the time and you don't really need the money. That's one situation. I would say probably not the most current one. And then there's people who have expenses and who just can't find anything because the regular channels are not working. And that's when you need to have a strategy. And that's when I come in and work with you to find that strategy. But again, volunteering is not necessarily going to help you because it's going to actually downgrade your resume where you're just working for free. So the best way would be to leverage what you already have, your experiences, your network. Probably people are not leveraging that to get to employed status or starting something, an activity, etc. So think a little bit about that if you're watching my video. Think about this word I'm using right now is leverage. How are you leveraging what you have right now? I think most people are not finding opportunities because they're looking for something standard and the people that do find opportunities are the ones who think outside the box. So I'll leave you with that thought. I will talk to you soon. Thanks.